one Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I decided to do the creative Bible journaling page and 100 days of Let's Hustle More Jesus um, spontaneously. Um, I have not, I've read um, day 53 months ago, like in the summer. <laughs> um, because I finished this entire book in the summer. It's just that um, I haven't done all the creative um, journaling pages. So I'm up to 53. On oh, 53 or 52? I think it's 52. Yeah, it's 52. 52. So last video I did was 51. Um. So, oh, okay. So I read this back in September 2nd, 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and reread it because I don't know. I don't remember what this one was about. And um, and then I'm going to do the creative journaling page. When I read this, I will share any thoughts that the Lord um, places on my heart. So right here, open your eyes. Here's an eye-opening exercise. Walk through your house and find an unusual place to sit or stand. Maybe lie on the floor of the kitchen or get crazy and climb carefully onto a bedroom desk. See how different the room appears from that perspective. You're looking down at things you usually look up at and vice versa. You see different angles and even new places to dust. Ugh. You might be inspired to rearrange a room or two. Friend, don't ever stop looking at life from new perspectives. Following Jesus doesn't mean that we all see things in the same way. Only you can see the world from your unique point of view. Life in Christ is multifaceted, offering new discoveries for each of us every day. The more you open yourself to him, the more he will show you new ways of seeing this wondrous world and all the precious souls you share with it. Scripture, Isaiah 43, 19, Good News Translation. Watch for the new thing I am going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. Jeremiah 33, 3, English Standard Version. Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Psalm 119.18, God's Word translation, I believe that is, GW. Uncover my eyes so that I may see the miraculous things in your teachings. Psalm 111, verse 2, the Good News translation. How wonderful are the things the Lord does. All who are delighted with them want to understand them. Prayer, open my eyes to new things, Lord, in your word and in your world. Life in you is an endless discovery. Help me to celebrate it every day. Amen. So I wrote here, um, I'm always going to be learning new things in Christ. It's so true. And what's coming to me now is just God's perspective. You know, as we encounter things, you know, we can filter it through our experiences. And sometimes those experiences are good. Sometimes those experiences are bad. Sometimes those experiences, I mean, have been good, have been bad. Sometimes they have been um, traumatic. And so when we look out our we see things, we have to remember that it can be filtered properly or it can be filtered improperly, depending upon uh, what we've been through and where we are and how we feel about something. And um, it's very important that we take our perspectives to God and say, God, you know, um, what do you say about this? What do you say about this? 
So what's your perspective about this? Because if we go to deal with something and we don't have God's perspective um, on it, we could end up probably making things worse or, you know, just going in circles with it. And so um, we can ask the Lord to open up the eyes of our understanding. That reminds me of the, even the prayer that Paul, you know, had prayed for the Ephesians the Ephesian, the church at Ephesus, and the faithful in Christ Jesus, right? Um, I'm going to read that scripture open. All right. One second. And um, it's two songs that's coming to my heart right now. Um, uh, um, okay, I'm going on. There's a scripture I'm going online right now. Ephesians 1, 18. Um, and so it's Ephesians 1. We'll go there. And it's not the only scripture where he prays an enlightening a God to open up the eyes to understand. Um, he said, um, wherefore, so I said, verse 15, wherefore, first, um, chapter 1, verse 15, wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love, Unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he brought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. I believe also in Colossians, he also prayed that um, the faithful in Christ and in the, the those at the church of Colossians, eyes will be open to know the depth of God's love. Um, that prayer, I'm going to link it, you know, in the description section when I upload this video. So, yeah, you so so praying God open up our eyes so we can know what is the hope of your calling, what to know your wisdom, to know your revelation, to know you, to understand the things that we go through, the, to understand people, to understand how to navigate. Um, I just I liken it to understanding God's understanding. It says, um, what it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. That's Proverbs three, five through six, right? And I know I need that daily because when I'm encountered with things, sometimes the first thing is to react and the Holy Spirit will say, No, you need to pray and seek my face about this. Right, and we're gonna always be learning in Christ. Hopefully, not the same thing over and over. Some of it we will have to be reviewed and reminded, but certain things we learn, we learn it, and we can learn more about it or build upon it. God will build upon it, but we don't want to be going in circles. We do want to be moving forward. And so, um, I didn't plan on this, but. I am going to do it because it's on my heart to do it. It's two songs. So if you want to fast forward, you can. But I am going to um, sing two songs, praise and worship. Um, one of them is Show Me Your Way. And I'm probably not going to sing the entire song. Um, maybe a stanza of both songs. So the first one is Show Me Your Way. Show me your way. That I may walk with you. Show me your way. 
I put my trust in you. The cry of my heart is to love you more, to live with the touch of your hand stronger each day. Show me your way. I think it's to know you. Show me your way. That I may walk with you. Show me your way. I put my trust in you. The cry of my heart is to know you more, to live with the touch of your hand, stronger each day. Show me your way. Thank you, Lord, the cry. The cry of my heart is to love you more, to live with the touch of your hand stronger each day show me your way stronger each day lord show me your way all right one more time stronger each day Show me your way. Thank you, Lord. The other song is, Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Thank you, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we cry holy, holy. Holy to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we cry, Holy, 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 holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open my eyes. I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we cry, holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we cry, Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Amen. So here I'm going to put God's perspective. That's what's all my heart to do. And to lay down some color. Yeah, I'm so grateful for that. And so I'm going to get some color. I didn't have it out because, like I said, 
this is spontaneous. So I think I'm I, I'm going to use some paint. Yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of paint. I'm over here getting this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use some light colors and contrast it with a little bit of um. So I have these right here. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, This is, well, this don't have a spout. I'm going to lay down the, whatchamacallit, I wish I had like a, um, I didn't have like a popsicle stick here, but I think I'm going to use this right here. I'm going to use this pink. Always wipe that off later. I wish I had a pop the stick. I don't feel like um, cause you know my spatula can't fit in there. I have another. Let me see. Let me see if I can get it. I have another um, scraper too. Where um, where are they? They're all the way up there. Okay, one minute. One minute. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll use this brush for now. I'll use this paint brush for now. Because I don't want to pour too much out. Because it's so, yeah, I like that. Okay. Then I'll get this here. Get this before it. Yeah. That. And now I'm gonna put it off. Whatever comes up right there. There we go. And even though it's going over the 52, it's still kind of like light. All right. So we did that one. So I am going to go ahead and do some blue now. But what I'm going to do, I don't want to cover up the prayer. So I'm going to get the baby white. And before it dries, I'm going to get it off with the baby white. There we go. Get that off there. That, get some of that off of there. And get some of this plus the 52 in the scripture right here. Okay, and I'm going to clean this brush and use it again. Use it for the blue. So I'm going to put some dabs of blue, not too much. And I'm going to go in with the scraper. And I see some got on here, so I'm going to wipe that real quick off of the prayer part. And then from right here. Right okay, I am going to use, I think, some washi tape, though. Now, I want to use some of that red right here, and I am, it's like a metallic color right here. But I have to be very careful because I just need to get these two strike on so I accident happen. I'll put them right here out of the way. And so this likes to separate. So uh, I think by the time I go to dry this, it's gonna be it's already dried. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm about to be All right, think I think that's enough. So 
little bit. Okay. I definitely do not want to go over that prayer up there. Okay. A little bit here. Just a little bit. All right. Okay. I kind of like that. I wish it didn't have those hard lines there. So let me see if I could do something about that. Yep, I sure can. Soften those up a bit. I just rub in that. Rubbing that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm liking that so far. So I'm going to close this up here. Wipe this off. Get it out the way. And um, and just go like that. Now, let's paint off here and put this away. Because this is actually dry now. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to get some washi tape. And um, the kind of washi tape I want to put God's perspective on. God's perspective. This time's happy. So happy. God's perspective. So, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. I think I like this one. Let's see. But it depends on the size of it. Yeah, that will go up here. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So, I'll use this. And I think that's going to be just enough to put. I don't want to cut the words cut in the words so put this here good and then put it down here but I don't think there's gonna be enough room it's just gonna cover up what I wrote there on the bottom but I can always um write that again because I usually write in Jesus name I pray when I do these devotionals and they don't have it, I just go ahead and write that. And I could write it over here too. So I'm liking that. I wish this to go all the way over here. I could swing it all, put it all the way over there if I want. Um, but I'm not going to do it. It's okay. And now I want to, I think I do want to dry this paper a little bit. But then again, I don't have to really go through all of that. Um, I'm going to take this. No, I'm going to take blue. The blue. Oops, I can't take it to the top. I hope it wasn't, but the top was off. No, it wasn't. So I'm going to put the squiggly line here. And I'm going to put the squiggly line here. Right, like that. And, um,. Some stickers, right? But the ones that's going to say, get God's perspective. So, um, right here, I have that. And we have that. I have some other colors here. I'm trying to pick out that. What I want to use. What is this? Oh, there's a bubble one. Give me a minute. One second. Like I said, this is spontaneous, so of course it's gonna take me a moment. Um I kinda like these letters right here. But that's so much pink. It's so much, so much, so much, so much, so much pink. Okay, I'm of course it's a video. No, maybe not. Oh, no. What I was thinking of course is to go get it right here. Oh, snap. This is um, some big, thick journaling pages. Um, stickers. You see how they look? It's really, you know, and you can write um, different things. I think I'm going to use this one. Oh, I think I like this one here. So I might use 
Okay, I may use um okay this one first. I like this. This right here. Kind of thick. Um I'm gonna put it down here. Right here. And I don't think I need to I do wanna put a flower. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to put Get God's Perspective. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little reminder for me. Moi. Okay. Um, get G. E. And I think we're, uh, I'm going to put um, perspective in a blue color. Get. All right, I'm going to have to this. Move it down. It feels like the pop up. So. Get God's. I gotta go back to the G. Oh, I don't wanna rip this G here. Get God's. Oh. I can put the G in the corner. Um, so I like the quiet though. Okay, uh, and the D and the S. Those little things that be in between the letters, when I go pull them out, they're kind of annoying sometimes. Put the apostrophe because it's showing ownership to God. God's. Oh, God, I got a little S. These back, these right here by remarks. Um, I'm sorry, the name again. Um, oh my god, what's this woman's name again? <laughs> Holly. Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh boy, what is her name? What is this woman's name again? Um, oh, okay. Okay. So these stickers are by Heidi Swap. These are from Heidi Swap. And these are from Remarks. This washi tape, I don't remember. I just think I got it in a pack of recollections. Washi, I'm not sure. It's been a while. So this is Get Gods. And now I'm going to go like this. Make sure it's all burnished down. Get Gods. And now for perspective, I'm going to use this. I'm going to be yes. What is that? I'm going to use these letters. Oh, boy. I got these from a dollar trade. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I may have to. And I'm going to mess up that um, peak that has because I 
I have a feeling that it's not going to be enough space. So I'm going to have to do like a funny this. How can I say like um. The way I put them down, I have to put them down like in a very, like a creative way. Like I'm, tr I'm trying purposely to, let's see, um, perspective. Oh, I could put get God's view. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put get God's get God's viewpoint. V. I Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna put my flower. Um, I'm gonna put a flower here. And, okay. Um, I'm gonna put probably three flowers. The rule of thirds. Blue. Uh, point could be right here. P. I know I'm quiet, but sometimes I like being quiet. Get God's viewpoint. And so now I'm going to um use the um a flower, some flowers um out of a sticker packet. Uh, I think the kind of sticker packet I want to use. Um I have this one. Hold on, I'm going to get us I'm actually getting a sticker packet. So, one is from AC Project that's on American Crafts, and this other one is Canoe So, let me see if I can find something in here first. Then, if not, then I'll look in another packet. I need to like mark the booklets, um, sticker booklets, like which one has flowers on it, or mostly words, because. You know, I don't be remember which one has the flowers, and then I'm doing this, or maybe butterflies. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, I'll do a butterfly. I'll do butterflies. Um, these butterflies. 
I don't know if we're gonna it's gonna fit, but um, I think I want to do the different color one. Something that I'm gonna have to probably glue this down with some Mod Podge. This one right here because it looks like it wanna come up and I don't like that. But I'm gonna have to put this little butterfly right here, and it has a little gray in it. It got a little bit of pink in it too. This one, but um, I kind of. Let me see. Ooh. Maybe. Let me see. I don't want to like. I don't mind that. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I probably shouldn't. Okay, that looks like I want to bring up the letter. Let's see if. It's this way, you know that scripture. Yes, I like that. I like that. Get God's, and it's going to that scripture right here. And for this one, I think I'm going to put it. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. I think I want to put this one here, going this way. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put one here. And um, this one, I'm going to put this gray one. It's like a grayish blue. But I'm going to put it going this way. So one is going this way, one is going this way, and one is going this way. And... I'm not going to do a tip in with this because what I'm going to do is put a prayer here. Uh -oh. Somebody's up. Okay. P R A Y E R. Oh, I don't think I'm going to put my prayer there now. Um, but you know what I am going to do? I am going to get a little bit of my brush. And put it on the gloves because I don't like the way that it's on. And I know actually I have some wet paint here. I gotta mix it though. No, I'm gonna use a Mod Podge. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use a Mac Mod Podge that I have here. Because if not, those letters are gonna come up. And so I'm gonna put a little bit here. Just a little bit. And I'll just adhere that down. No draw clear. I might do that to all the letters. Who knows? And sometimes that's what you could do is just put a little bit of Mod Podge. And see, this is matte. So it's going to work just fine. And then I don't have to worry about it coming up because. I've had situations where I just pressed and pressed and pressed and it burnished it. And then later on, when I opened up the page, it came up. Even though the book was shut tight, it still didn't have enough adhesive to give it any um, longevity as far as staying to the page. I think I even want to do these letters because these are from the Dollar Tree and when I was touching them, I noticed that there was a little bit of, um, it wasn't as sticky. And I've had these letters for a long time, so. You see how that's moving around? Okay, I don't have to be perfect. They are a little slanted. I have a I have an item where I could put them down straight when I really, really need it to be straight. But sometimes I don't mind if it's on a slant or something like that. It depends on what it is, what I'm doing. But you see, that's, that, that helped heal that quick with that mud wash. Put a mixture of under there. Put some under here. I'm just give it some time. My apologies are 
that item. And you see, I didn't have to douse it. Just had to dab it. And it is matte, so it's not going to have that sheen afterwards that I would have to worry about if I was using a glossy. And I'm going to leave it like this. That way, the, it could dry. What's this going on over here with this all? Come on, man. I have to hold it down. I do not want to bring out my feet down right now. I really don't. So, okay, that's down. So it's good enough now. So go like that and press it down with a little press. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I will write the prayer here. Um, Father God. Sometimes I am quick um, to see and to quick to see and view things from a human perspective. Thanks for the ability to think for myself and have opinions. However, I understand It has to be filtered through you. Please give me your view, your perspective, same thing on everything I encounter and act accordingly. Act according to your will. And then I'm going to abbreviate in Jesus' name, I ask. I in Jesus' name, I ask. I J N I A. Amen. And then right here, I'll put in Jesus' name. Still. <laughs> and so that's it for this page. Um, here, I just do one right here. I in Jesus. Name I ask because remember I had covered it with the paper with the washi. Amen. And so that's it for this journaling page. I think I'll put a few hearts here. And um, yeah, that was spontaneous. I didn't plan it out. I may at some point go back and put a tip in, but I didn't feel like doing all that right now. I don't know, but who's to say I won't do it later? And I'm gonna also date it here for 2920 because then it's gonna look like I did the September 2nd, and that's what I'll probably be, um, you know, think later on when I look back at it. So, yeah, so that's it. And with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Get, get God's point of view. Or viewpoint. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.